Terrence Crawford, the pound for pound king, putting his WBO welterweight championship of the world on the line against the very determined David Avenisia. You see the instructions, obey my commands, protect yourself all the time, touch glove, God bless, good luck. There we go. They say that Las Vegas is the fight capital of the world, but right now, it sure feels like it's in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Crawford, 38 no, 29 knockouts. David Avanesian, 29 3 and 1 with 17 KOs, 12 rounds for the WBO. Curtis Crawford's pulling that jab, that controlling jab like that, keeping Avanesian at bay. It's going to be a right hand, right on the button from Avanesian. Basically, he exposed that maybe weren't as good as they were supposed to be. But he beats them because of things like this, where they have no staying power in the ring once he stays in their face. But I thought like Crawford is going to show a lot of different wrinkles and angles now. He's just not both stance. Avanesian will and he'll open him up. So it's going to be up to Avanesian. Not showing any fear to Crawford at all. So a good start for the Armenian. Then Avanesian landed and it just looked like Crawford was backing up and didn't expect him because he detoured Avanesian because this guy feels like he's, he can get some shots in right now. But Avanesian will keep being like a bus on front of him though. Slip, when you've got a fighter who's 35 years old and hasn't fought over a year, you always wonder, hey, has Father Time caught up with him a little bit? Cold right now. <laughs> no, but what you see is the patience, the poise, the poundless. Body shot there from Avanesian. Left hook. His face, so he'll keep, he'll keep Crawford thinking. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a good shot well. having some success. Crawford's going to have to beat Avanesian into submission. That's the only way you can win a fight against somebody like this. Avanesian is starting to switch stances back and forth too. The left hand by Avanesian catches part of the shoulder of Crawford. Then on the way out, he throws that body shot. Always whether you have any staying power in the ring. And what I mean by staying power is your ability to be in a tough fight for 10, 12 rounds, mentally draining you, and your ability to still execute a game plan underneath those circumstances. Yeah. Class fighter, and if yeah. you ain't in the A class, yeah. you can't expose you just like that. scores for Avanesian. And he is putting up, I think, a better fight so far than almost anyone thought he would. Go again! His counter punch ability, he's letting the fight come to him and breaking down David Avanesian. Two rounds, nothing, tennis profit. Nice moment there for Bud as he works off the ropes. That has run his progress. Again, he tests your staying power. We already know Crawford has staying power, so body a little bit to slow this guy down. Nice spin move from Crawford, throws a right to the body. So that action we saw in that last round, nice little spin move by Crawford on the out. We got a nice little comment. You know, he's known to come up short at his levels, but it's in the way that he comes up short. Ooh, that he keeps Biggest it. false sense of security sure. in the fight now. Forces went inside, does have a big little punch. But it's, you know, oh, nice right hand by Avanesian. But let's, let's not forget, Corbett's been off for 13 months, right? So this is kind of the red kind of guy he's got in front of him. He's going to be a dead red guy, make him get some rounds, make him Nice fight. uppercut from Avanesian. Even catch him with a couple of shots, you know? It's to kind of get back in the ring, not the rust off kind of fight that Corbett's going to need. If, if Corbett stayed in this speed all night long, I think that it would be competitive. But when the champ, Want to raise that level up and take it up a notch. Here goes you know? Crawford. He's on the front foot now. This crowd is rallying behind him. Avanesian trying to stay in the pocket. He doesn't know where else to go. He lives in the pocket. That's it. You see the change of speed on the shots from Crawford. Look at the, this is the thing of beauty I'm talking about. Yes, the Crawford. And now they're go. going toe to toe. That's the opening. But also look at the change of speed in Crawford. Oh. Avanesian at the back. Wayne Lance has not been able to hurt Crawford, but at the same time, show what Crawford needs to work on. He's in a nice double uppercut with the left hand. And once Crawford gets his hands moving, he gets really, really creative in the way he's going to do it. See the little touches, mixes in the little touches, and then digs in some hard right on the knees there. You know, so again, look at the change of speed. He goes up and down the gears in the midst of combinations, and this makes him very difficult to time. And right at the end of the round, Avanesian wanted some good body shots from both guys there. 
There's going to be something done with a nice little left hand there by Venetian. And that has made Corpus step back. Oh, there it is right there. How do you have it scored through four? All right, but four rounds to nothing, Terrence Crawford. David Abenegian is making is having a good showing of himself, though. It's a competitive fight. It's just the adjustments of Terrence Crawford, the skill set, the changing levels of Terrence Crawford. He controls the distance perfectly, and that's just making it hard for David Abenegian to get in. Four rounds to nothing, Terrence Crawford. This is like great things you do on the back when you're drilling. Crawford does it to opponents. Okay, because he got the wind cut off on him. Good body shot. Uppercut, slick uppercut from Crawford into the body. The crowd is eating it up. Another left hand for Crawford. Good uppercut. Good left there from Avenisian. See, Avenisian gets through in there, but the, the shots, he'll get some shots through just on his hustle alone. But it's Crawford with the shot selection. Venetian with a straight right hand and then a left as well. And here comes Crawford firing away. Good action around here in Omaha. Crawford's body attack has been really good this fight. You know, he's got to mix it up upstairs and downstairs very well. See that's inside work there from both guys. Crawford really some nice defense in there. Although Avenisian does get through, get some through at times. Avenisian as well, you know, with the up and down, upstairs and downstairs. I just don't think he's thinking it through as much as Crawford. This gloves ripped. I saw it earlier. And I didn't see oh. anything. Yeah, both of the gloves ripped. Right? Oh man. I thought it was the color when I saw it over here They're in the last busted. round. I didn't want to say anything, but the glove bust on the other side. Oh wow. Wow. Well, yeah, you can see the padding coming out. Yeah. I didn't want to be wrong, but I'm like, I look like look at this. They letting it go. Time that in. is strange. Uppercut from Crawford. And look how Crawford just continuously throws punches to keep Abanesi in a bed. Yep. And again, you know, the shot selection, also change of speed on the shots, change of strength on the shots as well. So I mean, not every shot Crawford's throwing is hard, but some of those light shots are meant to draw something out of Abanesi as we can counter him as well. Oh, there's a nice right hook from Abanesi. And that gets Crawford angry. There's nothing in there. And you may not like him when he's angry. Spence and Crawford, right, when you see things like this. When Spence is at his distance, that is when he's at its most effective. It'll be really interesting how Crawford will handle that. It's just been a lot of close kept quarters fighting with him and Ernesto today. Oh, he's fighting. That's in the win. <laughs> oh, nice double uppercuts. He's really making a home for the uppercuts, guys. The uppercut has become Crawford's favorite in this fight. There's another one just misses. I like to see that right hand up a little bit by Brad, man. I, I like to see that right hand. It's like it's hanging down what we call the bread basket. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to fuck one of the body shots. Crawford, mm. look at him just going upstairs and downstairs, picking him apart. Who nice set him up with that uppercut as well? Into the body. He picking it up now. They're taking it off the gears. Now. See if it's a counter left double cut. There it is, counter left double cut right hook. Yep. Avenisian threw his own left hand. So it starts out with Avenisian throwing his left hand. Watch Avenisian's gonna throw his left hand. Watch the reaction by Crawford. Watch the reaction by Crawford. Boom, counter. Rolls with it beautifully. So he rolls perfectly with the left hand and turns that right uppercut, a left uppercut over, and then comes back to the right, right hook. Watch how he turned that power to the right yep. side in twerk. That was a beautiful yep. setup shot. And that was what he added. You see, he was building up to it. He was landing a lot of the uppercuts over the course of the night. He was even doubling and tripling on them, guys. But then this time, instead of doubling on the uppercut, he switched it up on Avanesian. Two minutes, 14 seconds of round. Number six, your winner by way of KO.